What is going on everybody, it's Nothing But Skills here, and today we're gonna to be talking about Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I know it's been a while since I brought a video about Ghost Recon on this channel, but I felt it was necessary because a lot of you guys actually purchased the game and maybe stopped playing a long time ago. I mean, I haven't played since two months into the launch of the game. I, not, I enjoyed it, but I felt that it missed a lot. It had a lot of bugs, it needed to be fixed, and little by little, they are improving it. One of my friends actually just got Ghost Recon Breakpoint and he tells me that it's in a better state and he actually enjoys it. And I think the feature that they're gonna be releasing on July 15th that they announced during the Ubisoft 4 live event, well, the pre-show, is going to make that happen. So, what was it? Well, AI teammates are coming to Ghost Recon Breakpoint. And this is what they had to say about it. And I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. Let's listen. The time has come. AI teammates are back in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. And for all solo players, they're gonna be a game changer. Available at any point after you have reached Erewhon for the first time, Fury, Fixit, and Vasily can be activated or dismissed at will. And from the beginning, you will be able to fully customize them. This customization includes all of the physical attributes, as well as gear, equipment, or even full costumes. Your teammates can be tweaked just as much as your main character. Just like Nomad, your teammates will adapt and react to the world of Aroa and its environments, and they will always follow your own behavior. If you decide to go stealth, they will equip silencers and crouch, or go prone when possible. But if you decide to go loud and open fire, they will stick by your side. When deployed, you can issue different orders to your teammates through the order wheel. There are four different orders you can give to your teammates. You can tell them to regroup on your location, to hold their current position, to go to a specific location, and to open fire on nearby enemies. These orders can be given at any time, even through your binoculars and drone. Once they approach potential threats, the teammates will notify you and mark them automatically. Got a hostile. With a good look at your enemies, you will be able to set up a sync shot where each of your teammates picks a target. You can even link it to your three sync shot drones for a simultaneous seven target takedown. The teammates have weapons equipped at all times, a versatile assault rifle to accommodate all situations, and a primary weapon that you will be able to fine tune. Indeed, apart from mark upgrades and passive bonuses, the full gunsmith is accessible to your teammates and their weapon of choice will have a direct effect on the battleground. Depending on the type of weapon they have equipped, the teammates will adapt their engagement distance and rate of fire, from close distance shotgun wielding, all the way to long distance sniper shots. Of course, if you get taken down, your teammates' priority will be to try and rescue you. To achieve that, they will first focus their fire on the surrounding enemies before getting to you. And they will expect the same from you, especially as you will be able to carry them to safety if the situation requires it. Finally, the teammates will also be your best allies in any vehicle, especially on the road and during high-stake pursuits. The teammates will be available for all solo Ghost Recon Breakpoint players on July 15th, and we cannot wait to see your reactions. We'll see you on the battlefield, Ghosts. So there we have it. Ghost Recon Breakpoint is bringing AI teammates that you can fully customize how they look. You can also customize the weapon that they carry. And the really cool feature that they added to this game is if you put a silencer on, they will automatically put a silencer on too. If you go loud, they will automatically follow your combat style. And you can control and tell them also how you want them to fight which is super, super cool. And I think this game really, really missed that at launch. I wish I could have played this game with AI teammates at launch. I didn't have anybody to play with. I went through the full campaign by myself. And I think if I would have had the AI teammate, being able to command a squad would have made the game that much funner. Not only for me, but for a lot of players who play solo, I think that is the one thing they were missing. So I'm glad to see that Ghost Recon Breakpoint, they keep working on the game. They keep wanting to make it better. One of my friends just recently got Ghost Recon Breakpoint for PlayStation, and he says he is actually really enjoying it. And from what I've heard, a lot of people who have gotten into the game later on have really benefited from everything that the community complained about at launch. And I think that the game is definitely in a better state than it was at launch. 
Now, I want to know from you guys, are you guys thinking about diving back into the game with AI being added? Let me know in the comment section. I will see you guys in the next Division 2 video. Don't forget, first time watching any of my videos, hit the subscribe and turn notification bell on so when I do release a video, you guys get notified. Remember, I play a lot of games on this channel, so if there's ever a specific game you're looking for, check out the playlist, and that'll show you every game I've actually covered on YouTube. Well, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, nothing but skills is out.